Hello, this is Dee with Five Petal Studio, and today I'm going to show you in four easy steps how to make a engraved name bar pendant in Fusion 360. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started in Autodesk Fusion 360. Step one is to create the bar from the name pendant. We're going to do that by using the rectangle tool. So we're going to go to Sketch rectangle, center rectangle. It's going to ask us which plane we want to work on. So we want to work on the top plane, this one right here. And now we're going to draw the rectangle. And as you draw, it's going to ask you for sizes. Don't worry because we're going to go back in and fix the size. So you have a rectangle there. I'm going to pan over just a little bit so mine is in the middle. And I'm going to hit the select button. I'm going to select this top, the width here, right click it, it says sketch dimensions. And then it shows you the dimensions. So click, and I want to change that to 30. I want it to be 30 millimeters. Let me hit return. Now I have to zoom in a little bit because it made it small. All right, and now we're going to do the same for the height. We're going to select. Hit one of the sides, right click it, sketch dimension, and I'm going to change that to 12. Great, so now we have created the bar that we're going to use for the bar pendant. It is going to be 30 millimeters wide and 12 millimeters in height. Step two is to create the circles or the holes for the jump ring and the chain. To do this, we're going to create two holes, one on each side of the top of the pendant, one here and one here. We're going to use the circle tool, but I want to make sure that my circles line up to each other equal. So I'm going to create some guidelines. So I'll start with the line tool. And I'm just going to start here and go in and say I want that to be 2.5. And then I'm going to create another guide here. Go straight up. And I want this one to be 2.5 as well. And this right here is where this point that was created is where we want the diameter of the circle to be. So we're going to go to circle center diameter, put it right on this point, and we're going to make that three millimeters. So the first circle is done. We need to get rid of these line marks. So I'm going to say stop sketch, go back to the top sketch, zoom back in. I'm going to highlight this line, delete it. Highlight this line, delete it. So we're going to create the second circle doing the same operation. So we're going to go to sketch line, say we want to be on the top plane, and we're going to start here, draw a line in 2.5. I'm going to pan it over a little bit and zoom in so I can see better. Now I'm going to go to line Start right there. I want to draw a line that's 2.5 again. So this is our point for the second circle. Sketch, circle, center diameter, right here on the circle. Make that three millimeters. Second circle is done. We just need to get rid of these guidelines that we don't need anymore. Highlight one, delete. Highlight the other, oops. If you ever make a mistake, you can do the un undo right here. And I'm going to recenter this and highlight second and delete. Okay, so now we have the two holes.
Step three is to make this into 3D. So we're going to extrude it. So we're going to go to create, extrude. We're going to select the pendant. So it's asking you for selection there. We selected the pendant. And it's asking you for the distance. And we're going to make this distance two millimeters. We want the pendant to be two millimeters thick. Enter. And voila. You take a look here, you'll see that we now have a 3D pendant. The hole has been punched through. And we're ready to now add detail to the top. Step four is to round out the edges. We're going to do this before we add the detail. So we're going to go to modify, fillet. We're going to select each of these edges here. And we're going to make the edges about, let's just say, 0.5. And that just rounded out the edges a little bit. If you take a look here, you'll see. Okay. Step four is to add your name to the top of the pendant here. So we're going to go to sketch, text. We're going to click on the pendant and the text box opens up here on the right. So we're going to start typing. I'm going to name mine five petals. You can use this circle here to rotate. It shows up upside down. And this is where you can change the font. I want to change the height because this is too big. I'm going to make it four millimeters. And actually, I'm going to use this little button here to move it around. I actually want it to be a little bit bigger. So let's do, let's see, eight millimeters. That's too big. All right, let's do six millimeters. Five. There we go. Let's move this here. Position it where you want it to be. Hit enter. Now what we have to do is make this a part of the pendant to engrave it. So we're going to go to create, extrude. It's going to ask us to select again. We're going to select the text. And we're going to say we only want it on one side. We want the operation to be cut. And we want it to be a negative number because we want it to cut into the pendant. So let's do, I think we should do probably, since this is two millimeters, let's make it one millimeter. A negative one millimeter. Say OK. And now we take a look at the pendant. We have an engraved name bar pendant. Now all we have to do is save this to the cloud and then export it as an STL file so we can have it printed. So we're going to save. It's going to ask you to name it. So name bar pendant. I, you're going to ask you which location. I want mine in my folder for courses. Now you know it's saved because the name shows up here. So you're going to right click here. And we're going to say save an STL. It's going to ask me, um, make sure the refinement is high. If you have an at-home printer, you would click here and your printer option will come up. But I'm going to print mine at a 3D printing service. And so I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to save this STL file to my desktop. Congratulations! In four easy steps, you now have created an engraved name bar pendant. You can now have your STL file printed in any material that you want. I would love to see your creations, so please share them with me. And happy 3D printing!